How you doing? Well, we're down here in the doggy. We're at Pat Kenny's house at the end of the road here, and we're here together. And what we're trying to prove a point of the hypocrisy of doggy and the D4 areas do not accept undocumented, unvetted illegal aliens in their area, and they want to push it all onto the young, privileged, working class areas that don't have the resources to deal with it. And we're proving that point. We've been here yesterday, today. No one's coming, no one has anything to say. We've called them all out, all the politicians, and everybody refuses to talk about it. So Pat Kenny, is, he calls us far-right agitators in this, and he, he's the far-right agitator in my opinion because he's not coming out. We're, we're here. We welcome genuine refugees. Women and children and families fleeing war are welcome here. But people that have no documentation and no passport are not welcome here. So we're here to prove the point that the people from Dorky and Kaloini and all these areas, they come over to counter protest us on protests yeah. all the time. But yeah, they never say I'm when it's here. Because they don't want they don't want them in their area. They want them put into Finglas, Clondalkin, Kulok, Ballymun, Tormigan Lane, yeah, yeah, all these areas. We done a documentary during the week on three days we were out there and we uh, we found umpteen properties between hospitals, old hotels, juries are sitting there with four hundred rooms in it. Ellen Park. The, Ellen Park is sitting there with all the rooms in it. You have the Israeli embassy beside that with 600, you could house 600. Like these places are all there, they can all be used, but they're not being used because this is a class war. These people want to give it to the lower class and they come over and counter protest us just so as they don't get it into their areas. And we're here to let them see that it's only a stone throw away from bringing these tents to them. At least they know who we are. We're Irish, we've passports. Like they only have to check us out. They can find who, who we are in two minutes. These guys coming in, nobody has a clue who they are. They come in a crime and they're gone. Nobody knows who they are. And it has to stop. This is just, it's gone too far now. The north side is riddled with it and the south side is not. And that's just why we're here. It's my opinion that this is simple case and they're starting to talk about it on the radio. Yeah. And the way it is, is people in Dorky and all these rich areas, they're mainly employers and bosses and companies. They want migrants to work for them but not to live beside yeah. them. And they don't want the social problems that this causes. They don't care about the facts that we don't have school places, doctor's places, we don't have the guard resources, we don't have the hospital places, but they're all right over here. They have Vincent's private, they have BlackRock private, they're extremely wealthy, they have all the resources. And he's right, when we done this documentary, we're in these areas with loads of resources. Turnwick and Lane is a unit in an industrial estate with nothing around it. Uh, the same that goes on Bargain Town, Soyak, Soyak, Soyak building. building. There is no resources around no. these places. And, and they just put, put in there. There's a 16-day waiting list for, hus or for doctor's appointments. In East Wall. In East Wall. So 16 days. 16 days. Or more. And why we're here is because he's a father, I'm a father, he's a father, and he's a grandfather. We're all family we're men. We're all family men. I've three daughters, he's seven, seven kids. kids. I've two daughters he's and a little boy. He's two daughters and a little boy. I want, I care about the safety of the women and children in this country yeah, and so if the do government yeah. don't, that's their problem. Yeah. But Roderick O'Gorman, I'm calling him out, he has no kids. So if he doesn't care about the safety of kids, that's his problem. I do. He doesn't understand the he worries I have. He needs to step he needs down. To step, down. step down. And he really does because he doesn't understand the worries that a dad of children have. I have to worry about my daughter walking home. We were promised Ukrainian women and children fleeing war. That's not what we're getting. We're getting 300 men in here, 300 men in there, 500 men in there. Yet my daughter has to come home from the cinema or she'll come home from swimming or school. And if anything happens to her, I'm telling you, she Roger won't go to shop on the yeah, yeah. yeah, it's only across the road. And like, and I mean, afraid. literally a minute away, yeah. he had to come with me in the car to bring her to shop. She's 15. So I'm telling you, it's here and now, Leo and Roderick. If anything happens to my daughter yeah. in relation to one of these Any migrants, of I will be holding you solely yeah. responsible because you're the one that put up these tweets and said, come here, you'll be housed in four months. Yeah. Now we have open air migrant camps on Mount Street. Yeah. Now we have the mall and, and talking now, now, yeah. So at the end of the day, when we talk about racism, I find that the people out here and the people in all Ellen Park, they're the real racists because they don't want undocumented men in their area, but they're happy to dump it into the areas that don't have the resources to deal with it. And it's not getting out there because RTA will not report it. They're one-sided, they're biased. That's my opinion. It's it's fact to see. There's no engagement. And what what do, what does Leo say? You can't veto who lives in your area. What about the people of Inch? He didn't care. Roderick actually said to them, "I ah, come up to Dublin and talk to me." So it's time Darky stood up. It's time Black Rock stood up. It's time all these rich, well-to-do areas shared their part and took some men into their areas. But I guarantee it won't happen. 
right? Because these people shouldn't be put on cruise ships. And if they are put on a cruise ship to live, put them home. at Dalky Harbour. You know, you don't, don't start sending them out to Dolly Mount. We're not putting up with it. We have children and their safety, my safety, Roderick, is not up. My kids' safety is no, not up for negotiation no. with you. And it never will be. Yeah. Your kids, the kids of Ireland, yeah. that's the way we put it. The women and children of Ireland's safety is not up for negotiation. No. So this has to stop. Close the borders. Economics is basic. 100,000 people added to the 12,500 people no, on the homeless yeah. list. It's only going to You homeless. can't do it. The houses can't be built. It's nonsense. So stop with They're the nonsense. They're all doing it for the money. Right? And we will expose the people, the yeah. makers and shakers over the next two weeks, who actually is making yeah. big, big, big profits. Yes. The big one in particular. And we will be exposing this. We have that number. Don't worry about that. That's all I have. Human trafficking. That's yes. what it is. Well, I'll be exposing someone that's making a lot of money out of this, and he's two. not a politician in the next week or two. Yeah. And I've no problem with that going out there. God bless Ireland. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. You all right with that?